the seven common myths of the 8A certification. Myth one, I can't get certified if a family member is already in the program. The reality is the SBA has a waiver which can be granted if the two firms are located in and market to a different territory or if they're in different industries. Myth 2. A majority of my sales must come from the private sector or I'll lose my certification. The reality is the SBA has business mix targets that your firm must meet in the transitional years, years 5 through 9, of its certification. This table shows how in years 5 through 9 you must have 15 to 55 percent of your sales from the private sector. If you fail to meet these targets, you could lose your ability to perform on sole source 8A contracts. Ultimately, if you don't make a good faith effort to correct this business mix target, you could lose your certification. Myth 3. A firm cannot get certified unless it's been in business for at least two years. The reality is the SBA has a waiver which can be granted for firms that are wanting to obtain the certification sooner than two years. Typical requirements are that the owner has a significant business background and has a significant technical background in the industry of the applicant concern. The firm has successfully performed on at least one federal contract. The firm has the potential for success indicated by income and profit. The firm has at least one tax return. Note, a two-year waiver is not needed if the only reason the firm is less than two years old is that it had an entity type change, for example, from a sole proprietorship to a corporation. Myth 4. A firm cannot get certified if it's had a prior application rejected by the SBA. The reality is the SBA rejects 70% of 8A applications for a lack of completeness. Having your application rejected on its first attempt is very common. Myth 5. An 8A certification isn't that beneficial for my business. The reality is, in 2011, 8A certified firms received $18.4 billion in federal contracts. This represents $2 to $3 million in additional annual revenue per 8A certified firm. Myth 6. A company should be a well-established mid-tier business before applying for the 8A certification. The reality is the SBA will certify firms with as little as $100,000 a year in annual revenue. Once certified, the SBA gives the firm the ability to enter into joint venture and mentor protege agreements with large federal contractors. These relationships enable the 8A certified firm to greatly increase their growth by providing them with expertise, bonding, insurance, financial capabilities, and other assistance. Myth 7. I must be a 100% member of a minority group in order to prove to the SBA I'm socially disadvantaged. The reality is, if an individual can show a 25% or more blood lineage to one of the presumed disadvantaged groups, that is, African American, Hispanic American, Subcontinent Asian, Asian Pacific American, or Native American, they can qualify for 8A certification. In some cases, the SBA will ask for additional supporting documentation to show that you represent yourself as a member of that presumed group in American society. Thanks for watching. To further evaluate you and your firm's potential application, you can go to our website and use our pre-qualification tool or give us a call. In about 10 minutes, we can give you a good assessment of your application.